title might not be completely aligned, but they're still in the same ballpark. All right, so as Stella mentioned, um, I currently work for Workday now, uh, but before that, I started a company called Rally Team. Uh, Rally Team was a solution that used machine learning to learn about your employees uh, at an organization, what they're good at, what they're passionate about, what their interests are, and then match them up to projects and roles where they're gonna have the most impact and personal growth. Uh, so not gonna, I'm not gonna bore you with my entire startup journey, but the highlights are, uh, won a hackathon in Houston, that was awesome. Decided to like sell everything, jump on my motorcycle, move to San Francisco, built an initial version of the product, uh, went to TechCrunch, presented there. A bunch of people thought it was cool. Uh, went through some accelerators, got funding. Uh, a few years later, got acquired by Workday. So now a lot, I do a few talks uh, in the startup space and the one question that always comes up is, what was the most important ingredient in building your company, in succeeding? And without a doubt, my answer is always the same. It's the team, it's the people, right? If we didn't have the right team, there's no way we would have succeeded. But this is also one of the hardest things to build, as I'm sure many people in this room know. Um, and especially for a startup, the challenge that we have is that we wanna hire and retain the best people, but we don't have the big dollars, right? So how do we compete with Google, the Googles, the Amazons, and the Microsofts? Um, so as an entrepreneur, you're always hacking, right? You're hacking a way to build a product. You're hacking a way to sell your product, to get customers. So this was my HR hack that I want to share with you. So the first step I did was, um, as an engineer, kind of start with the end result. What do I want my end game to look like? What do I want my team to look like? What do I want the people on my team to look like? So I wrote down all the attributes um, of what I wanted people, uh, all the attributes that I wanted to see in my people. So for example, I want people to be passionate. I want people who want to change the world. Um, I want people who are hungry for growth, uh, who can thrive in a dynamic environment. Uh, strong team players, has lots of energy, and likes to have fun. So that was my end result, and from there, I worked backwards. So how do I attract this persona? How do I attract these people? Um, so long story short, I ended up with these four criteria. Money, I know people are gonna come and work for free. So that's always gonna be a factor. Uh, but the other three factors were vision, experience, and culture, right? I'm sure it's nothing new, but my hypothesis here was that I could amp up these three areas and make up for the crappy salaries that I was offering, right? <laughs> so, first thing, vision. Um, I knew that to attract passionate and dedicated people, I needed a clear and compelling vision. Um, so I leveraged the help of a Harvard Business Review uh, white paper. It's a great white paper. It's called Building Your Company's Vision. Um, I'm not gonna get into the details, but once I had my vision, I sold it like Kool-Aid at the company. I integrated it into every aspect of our business. Right from the interview process, I would talk about the vision and how we're changing the world, to our sales process, to our quarterly town halls. I talked about how the features that the engineers were building uh, was impacting our vision. And I'd also share customer testimonials of how like, our vision was actually making people's lives happier, right? I think one of the important aspects was I also made it personal. Uh, and what was cool was at the, near the end there, everybody on the team made it personal as well. So give you, to give you an example, this is the reason why I quit my corporate job. Uh, I remember sitting there that day after my mentor had asked me, what story do you want to tell your grandkids? And I said, you know what, I want a story where you know, I had a positive, positive impact on society, right? And I came across this article, 70% of employees are disengaged at work, and it really made me sad. Three out of four people should not spend half of their waking lives unhappy, right? And one of the main causes was because they're not working on things that they're passionate about, and they're not growing, right? So our vision at Rally Team was to create a world where people are happy, excited, and engaged with their work. And we were gonna do that by using technology to connect people to projects and roles where they're gonna have the most impact and personal growth. So we weren't just building software at Rally Team, we were building a new way to work. We were building the future of work, right? We we're creating happiness at work. And you know, for me, that's the story I wanna tell my kids, right? And that vision seemed to work because I was able to hire a lot of people based on that vision. Uh, but the next thing was experience and growth. I've had the opportunity to work with some amazing people throughout my career, 
And the one thing that all these people have in common is this hunger for growth and experiential opportunities. So I knew I had to offer that at Rally Team. So we offered rotation programs and 20% projects. I'm sure a lot of you are aware what those are. But I think the one unique thing that we did was very personalized development roadmaps. Uh, so to give you an example, the thing, first thing we do is sit down with each employee and do an assessment. Understand what their career goals are. Understand what their next step uh, was. So one of the things I would do is ask um, Azeb, for example, what's the next role you want to be in, right? And he would say, I want to be a solution architect. Great. Now go out and find me three job descriptions at other companies, other than Rally Team, of a solution architect, right? And then we'd take that and we'd identify all the key requirements. we put in a spreadsheet, do a gap analysis, and figure out the areas where we need to work on. So then we'd take those areas, put it into a development roadmap, and then I would start identifying projects and tasks within Rally Team that he could work on that could help fill those gaps, right? And it was a bit of a bold move asking him to take um, job descriptions from other company, but I'll show you in a few slides. No, we had zero turnover, and part of the reason was I didn't know how long Rally Team would last, so I wanted to make sure he was ready if we did have to fold the company. <laughs> 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 last but not least, culture, right? It's so important. It's a reflection of your people. So if you want great people, you need a great culture. Um, and I think the key tips I want to share here, the key hacks, is that we got everybody involved. I've been in a, at big companies where you know, I've heard a lot of people complain about the culture. It's like, oh, you know, the company does a bad job of the culture here. The culture here sucks at the company, which I never understood because the culture is made up of everybody. So if the culture here sucks, it's because you're not doing a good job either, right? So we made it a point to get everybody involved in building our culture. So one of the things we did was every month we'd have a team building event. Uh, the budget was $1,000, so that was quite a bit, even for a big company. Um, and a different person would organize a team building event each month. And that did two things. It made people realize that building a good culture takes a lot of time and effort, right? So when somebody else does it, they appreciate it. And then the second thing was, we got a little bit of everything, everybody in our culture, and people actually owned it and took care of it. Um, I know I'm probably running out of time, but uh, last but not least about culture, have fun, right? It shouldn't be forced upon, it shouldn't be robotic, it should be a list of things that you need to do every month. It should come organically from the team and just go out and have fun. So five years later, this was the result of this uh, HR hack. Um, we were able to hire some of the best people out there. A lot of these people turned down jobs at much higher, higher salaries at Amazon, Microsoft, and uh, Google. Uh, we had zero turnover. We had a perfect score on Glassdoor. This is a little secret. I remember when I saw this, I was like, holy crap, that's awesome. And then I read the reviews, and I don't really get emotional. That day, I was like, oh man, I, there's a lot of dust in the air. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we had an amazing journey together, right? Even if Rally Team crashed and burned, I would never look back at this experience and regret it. Thank you. <laughs>